you would want to rewire a home potentially if you're doing a remodel. So if you're not doing a remodel on your house and you're not tearing walls down and sheetrock and stuff, it's, it's, it'd be really difficult to rewire a house, right? And no one's gonna force you to rewire a house, especially in that context where the, you know nothing's getting demoed, right? That's just unrealistic and super expensive that most people can't afford. So when we're talking about rewiring a house, ideally you'd wanna do that like in a demo situation or a, a renovation or a remodel. If there is no rewiring involved, the the least that is going to happen is they're going to want you to put proper protection on your circuit so whether that be a dual function breaker that protects uh has gfci protection or arc fault rewiring a house isn't always required again they're not going to make it do that necessarily if you're not renovating or remodeling but they will ask you for safety purposes to update certain things in your system so that you know you can be living in a safe home so your home may have all the circuits or maybe some of them that are ungrounded circuits so there's no ground wire in the in the wiring so you can have what is called it is knob and tube and that was a really old wiring system back in the late 1800s all the way up to about the 1940s you know it because when you when you tear down walls or go in your attic you'll see it's it's just a hot and a neutral two wires that have like cloth sheathing on it and it's wrapped around knobs uh, when it goes down a wall. So that was the, the old way of wiring. Um, it is not grounded. So a lot of times insurance companies will not insure a home if it has ungrounded wiring. And there's also wiring after knob and tube that was ungrounded as well. And so the, the potential hazards of having ungrounded circuits is one, you could get shocked, okay? So it is possible for your appliances or anything, you know, metal to, to become energized to where if you touch something, you're gonna get shocked because it has no, there's no ground wire, there's nowhere for that energy to go, right? Or the second thing is, is that there's no surge protection. So in the case of a surge or, or whatever it may be, none of that energy or that electricity has anywhere to go. It's just gonna stay, you know, in the device or in the appliance or even like in the panel. Anything metal be, can become energized if you don't have ungrounded circuits, whether it's knob and tube or some, you know, later wiring after knob and tube. So a home inspector is gonna catch that. And depending on the context or situ situation, you may need to do a rewire. If you don't have to do a rewire, you can always update your breakers and your receptacles to a, so you don't have to go through all the rewiring process. You can solve this issue with ungrounded systems with, without rewiring your entire house. And there's really two ways you can do that. You can add GFCI protection through a receptacle or through a breaker. And so that is going to eliminate the possibility of you potentially getting shocked um, by maybe touching an appliance or touching anything metal. And so you wanna make sure that if you're not gonna rewire a house, you can always upgrade your systems and have uh, um, proper protection to keep you safe by just upgrading your devices, either in your panel or on your outlets.